What I'm about to say could change everything, or it could mean nothing at all. Take it as you will. I'm just going to present my thoughts. So we have here Endo 01 and Endo 02. 1 is used in the FNAF 1 animatronics, 2 is used in the FNAF 2 withered animatronics. Now my question is, if FNAF 1 really takes place after FNAF 2, and these are new animatronics built afterwards, after William has destroyed all of the old animatronics, then why would the Endo 02 model have come before the Endo 01 model? Now tell me, if you were designing endoskeletons and you had two models of an endoskeleton, one that you made first and one that you made later, which one would you call the Endo-01 and which one would you call the Endo-02? That's where I'm going with this. Now no one ever really argues against FNAF 2 being a prequel to FNAF 1, and that's not necessarily what I am doing. Yes, I know I titled the video that, but that is not necessarily my thoughts. I am just pointing out some details that might point to that. I'm just presenting my thoughts on a weird choice by Scott, but it throws a lot of the timeline into question. And I, I, this is where I genuinely am stumped. I have no idea where to go from there. Another thing I would like to point out quick is what is Golden Freddy? Because it's not Fredbear. There's no way. It cannot be Fredbear. Fredbear has five fingers because it was a springlock suit. Why would there be two different models of the suit that have four fingers? Was it just an homage to the original Fredbear and Spring Bonnie didn't get the same treatment because he was the one that murdered kids? Or is it something else? Why did Golden Freddy exist in the first place? Yeah, no, I'm stumped. I have no clue. I have no idea. Uh, comment. Uh, discuss. Discuss what I have said here. S tell me if you think I am horribly wrong. Tell me if you think I am onto something. I, I just, these are things that are inconsistencies that I am bothered by.